Hey folks, Matt from IrelyImage.com. We've got uh, Ronnie writing in. Uh, he's confused about some Tamron lens options. Uh, that's the heading of the email, confused. He says, hi Matt, keep up the great reviews. I have a question about these lenses. The Tamron 70-200 to F28 DI-SP LDIF lens for Nikon. The Tamron SP 70-200 to F28 DIVC G2 for Nikon FX. The Tamron SP A001 70-200 to F28 LDAF IF DI. Uh, so a lot of <laughs> big mouthful on all these lens nomenclature. Um, essentially, these are all just different versions of the same lens. They're all Tamron 70 to 200 f2.8s and just newer versions. I believe the G2 is the newest version out of that. Uh, he says, I'm shooting with the D7100. I thought I wanted the VR2 version, but now after viewing several reviews, I'm more confused now than ever. I shoot a little bit of everything and just want a good walk around lens. And for what I'm seeing, it's this F28 7200 is what I'm looking for. Uh, it just confuses which one works best for a non-professional shooter. And is it worth spending the mega bucks on a hobby? Looking to go to maybe $1,200, US even found one in the $600 range. Can you enlighten me? Okay, thanks for your question. Good question. And as I said, basically, these are just the newest version of that Tamron 70 to 200 and then some older versions. Um, don't have a problem at all if you wanted to buy one of the older versions and save some money. Obviously, the newest one, Tamron would tell you, is the best performer out of the bunch. But I think the other ones, the older ones, are still good values and an opportunity to save money and still get a very good performing lens. Now, I wanted to address address uh, well, something you said here. You said you want a good walk-around lens. Typically, I would not think a 70 to 200 f2.8 zoom is a walk-around lens. It's more of a specialized lens. A lot of people would shoot weddings or events with that lens, but not typically considered a general walk-around lens. We typically would use something like a an 18 to 300 on a DX body, uh, something like a, the Nikon 28 to 300 on an FX full-frame body, um, even an 18 to 140 on your D7100. A bigger range and not typically needing the speed. Because with a walk-around lens, if you're on traveling or things like that, you like the versatility of the zoom range and carrying a larger, heavier, specialized lens like a 28, 70 to 200 is not typically what we would use for travel or a walk-around lens. Not saying you can't do it. If that's what you want and that's what you think you would use as, a, as what you would like for your walk-around lens, fine. Just something to consider. It's not what most people would consider a walk-around lens. And I would consider, um, I would rather have as a walk-around lens, even the 18 to 140, good value, a lot less money. Uh, if you want to spend more, something like the 18 to 300 on your D7100 is going to give you a really good range. Uh, it, yeah, it's not as fast. Take an 18 to 300 and add a 50 in. Add the 50 F18G with it. Great combo. That's what I would use for the type of things you're doing. Um, but if you have your heart set on a 7200 F2.8, first of all, just make sure the reasons you want to get it. Um, and, and as long as it's what you want and, and you're pretty sure of that, then they're a good lens and I wouldn't really care which one you bought out of those three. Just bearing in mind that the newest one's the G2, probably relatively small real-world performance differences. Um, and so you might want to save some money. But as far as a walk-around lens goes, I wouldn't go with one of those. I would go with a much bigger zoom range lens. Uh, for instance, the 18-300 to 300 probably. Um, let me throw it back to our viewers. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Does it matter which Tamron he buys? Do you have a big preference? Um, and as far as walk-around lenses goes, would you use a 70-200 to 200 F2.8 or would you be more of a general walk around like I'm suggesting, something like an 18-300 to 300 or something? Let me know in the comments below. What would you guys do and why? Let's help them out. Um, always great to have your feedback when our viewers are trying to figure out what to do, what to buy. And uh, thanks for your question. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.